we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Thank you again for being here. Shout out to my viewers in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and Houston. All right, those are places where I got a lot of viewership. So thank you. Uh, thank you to my new subscribers. Okay. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius. So we, we got to spread here just for the sake of time, you know, but um, let's get into it. Aquarius, it looks like, okay, so let's talk about some dynamics here. Aquarius, you are masculine by default, okay? So the masculine energy here, which could be you, you're kind of upside down in regards to maybe a lover, you're not sure if you should stay or go. You're not sure if you should reconcile reconcile with this person or just move on. Whatever it is you choose to do, you know that you've learned the lesson though. And you're you're if you do choose to go back into the relationship, it will never be the same. You will not show up in the same manner. Um you're not going to it's like you learn something about this. You learn something about yourself, you learn something about uh, sabotage, self-sabotage, um, um, old patterns that are just worn out, maybe giving too much, um, and, and not expecting, um, as much in return or just accepting, not getting what you need in return. So even if you allow this person to come back, I think they, they're in for a new, a brand new Aquarius and, um, you know, that could blow their mind. Uh, they could be interested. They could not be, but, um, you're at a place of you're upside down about this person. If you should, or if you should not, um, the feminine energy doesn't mean that it's a woman, but it's a feminine energy here because we have masculine and feminine energy, right? Um, it looks like the, uh, the feminine energy is at a place where, uh, hang on guys. Yes. We'll get the one closest to that, like the silk, or I don't know. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, okay, all right, bye. Oh. I'm super busy to where I can't. I can't even do my own grocery shopping, and then people just be calling. Woo! Anyway, moving right along back to the Aquarius. Um, all right. So the feminine energy here is ex an extreme fantasy about Aquarius, you know, um, is I'm getting Scorpio here. This person is deep in their emotions in regards to the Aquarius and the relationship also. Um, 
it's almost as if they understand that maybe they fumbled the ball, they fumbled the relationship. I don't know, it's, it's like somebody's taking accountability for their actions, the part that they played. We won't isolate one person and say that everything was on them, you know, but it looks like somebody is trying to maybe take accountability for things not working out, but they're also in a, a high level of fantasy, a wishful thinking in regards to the relationship with Aquarius. Like, well, maybe we can come back together or maybe it can work or maybe I should reach out or maybe I should talk to or maybe I should go towards or uh, maybe I'll ride by their house. It's just a, a lot of emotions not enough action. This could also be a person who is just overindulging because they have so many emotions that they don't know how to express. So let me drink my way out of this. Let me eat my way out of this. Um, somebody's just not really, um, uh, kind of like, uh, going through their emotions. They're not really, uh, ex it's not the word expressing. I can't even think of it. I always use it, but I can't even think of the word. And I really, um, anyway, it'll come back to me. They're not at a place where they are really, um, processing maybe. Yeah. Processing their emotion. They just have them. And because they don't, they can't talk to you or they can't be with you or they can't be around you or they don't know where you are or you, they're blocked on social media or whatever. It's just like, well, let me pick up the bottle. Let me go sleep with this person. Let me go eat this. Let me go be around a lot of people so I don't have to think about, you know, the part that I played in the demise of the relationship. So this is a person who's still not processing their emotions correctly, accurately. Uh, I don't know if it's you or your person, Aquarius, but somebody is in deep despair, maybe even having mood swings, flying off the handle. They're frustrated. And this could come from not being able to express their emotions. With you, Aquarius, you come up as a six of swords, so I really don't feel like it's you. I really feel like it might be your person because they don't know how to express to Aquarius, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry for X, Y, and Z. They, they want reconciliation, but they don't want true reconciliation. And we know here on the channel what true reconciliation is. And that is when you come together and you both, you know, confess your shortcomings to one another. It, it causes for humility to happen. Okay. Um, this person doesn't want to do that. They do want to come back to you, come back with them. They don't want to confess anything. Maybe they'll give you a half-assed apology also. It's still somebody kind of stuck in ego, not knowing how to express themselves, their emotions, process them, put things in the right place, right box. It's just like they're all over the place. They'd rather be or live in a fantasy. They'd rather sell you a dream than actually show up and, and be who they need to be for themselves first and then for you secondly. So you're dealing with somebody here who um, just, they might just need to grow up, you know? Um, they don't want to do the work or they're stuck or they're just unmovable with the Knight of Pentacles. Just, you know, just um, arms crossed, hands folded, uh, stubborn, eat like an ox, won't move. You know, they're committed to not moving, you know, and not ascending. You've got the old woman in the temperance card. There might be something Aquarius that you need to incorporate from your past, bring it back into the now, into the present. I'm going to pull a card on, see what that is that you need to bring back from the past. I don't know if it's a relationship. Something's saying it's the perfect timing though, um, because you've come into alignment with yourself. You come into understanding feminine and masculine energy completely. You come into just a higher vibration, you know, um, therefore, um, it's the perfect time to bring something up. What is this about? Six of Pentacles. This could be in regards to, um, I heard wealth. So this could be in regards to money making too. You know, um, this could even be somebody that maybe left in the past or out in the cold or now you're in a better place or you have the power or you took your power back. It's not that you're going to yield it over them or you're going to be like, well, you know, um, I'm doing so much better than you. I'm in a better place, you know? So, um, you can kiss my foot, you know, no, you, you know, you're gonna be like, um, yeah, I am in a better place. You know, I see 
or I feel that maybe, you know, you might need a little help or, you know, what can I do? It's like, cause the six talks about being a service to, you know? So I don't know, maybe you going to talk to this person and just give them some good advice or some, some, um, some, some words, some gems, you know, so that they can move forward. And this could also be you be, you know, this also could be you incorporating something from your past that will make you money. You know, the door of opportunity, wealth. Uh, there could be a loan here. It may be the prime opportunity to apply for the loan. You'll get the loan. What is going on here for Aquarius? What's happening for Aqua? Yeah, the Four of Swords. Whatever you pray for is coming to you. It's the opportunity to make peace, be at peace, uh, come back together. Yeah, uh, explore, page of wands. Something about Aquarius, you went away, you did the work, you, you can come back to, or you can bring something back into. I don't know. It could be a relationship. It could be work related. It could be anything, but only you would know what you need to incorporate from the past into the now. We've got faithfulness in the Ten of Swords. Let me tell you about this, this right here. Faithfulness. Faithfulness in the Ten of Swords. Man, all right. Um, spirit wants to tell you, you know, look, you have been faithful through all of the adversity, all of the ups and downs, all of the volatility of life, of your life. You've hung in there. You have gone through. You stayed faithful and true to the person that you were really, that you really are. Your good nature was deep down inside of you. You had you had and you have good intentions for yourself and those around you. Therefore, you're going to be rewarded. Success is imminent. You will reach it. It is your reward for staying faithful, faithfulness. You, you stay loyal to, dedicated to. You even gave when you didn't have it to give. Whatever it was, you gave. Whether it was love, whether it was money, what, whatever. You gave when you really didn't have it to give. Aquarius, the Ten of Swords, you came through. You passed the test, the test, the trial of life. And we know that the swords are about trials and tests, right? You came through this generational curse, if there was any. You came through this curse that maybe somebody tried to put on you. You came through the volatility, the up, the down, the roller coaster of a relationship of life. Therefore, you will, Aquarius, you're going to reap the rewards here. One card for um, faithfulness and the Ten of Swords. Come on, y'all. Aquarius, I'm so proud of you. You know, your energy is clear. It's wow. The high priestess flew out. You know something. And you, you, you're, you know it. You're at a place of, this is a place of gestation. The universe has you pregnant with something that you're going to birth, that they're birthing in you. This is a new, you're being made a new or made renewed or you, this is a rebirth. So you went through some deep transformative scorpionic change. I mean, you went deep. Think about deep waters, the ocean, um, deep murky waters. You can't see to the bottom, right? If you're looking at the water, you got to get in there. If you want to see what's in the bottom, what's in the middle and Aquarius, you did the work you got in there. You, you, you dug your way out of that. All of those murky waters you dealt with the hurt, the pain, the shame, the regret, the remorse, the resentment, the trauma of life, of your life, of the hand that you were dealt. Now you're about to get your reward. Aquarius. Wow. I can't make it up. What does the 10 of cups say? Look it up for yourself. It says that, a hard work will be rewarded. You did the hard work, Aquarius. Ten of Cups here. The stage is set for happiness for you. So the universe has set the stage for happiness. All you have to do is perform. Very nice, Aquarius. It's a beautiful reading. Um, I said I was going to clarify the despair in the Knight of Pentacles. Who is this? I just don't feel like it's you, Aquarius. You ain't flying off the handle. You ain't spazzing out on people. You're not frustrated. Yeah, five of wands. This is somebody who's feeling an energy where um, they chose lawlessness, okay? And we see that in the seven of cups. We see that um, with them fantasizing about you and not really processing their emotions. This is somebody who chose lawlessness. 
They didn't choose to, they didn't choose um, morality. They chose immorality. They chose everything that was easy. They chose other people. They chose love affairs. They chose childishness. Again, back to somebody needing to grow up. They chose to fight, fight against growth. And now they're in despair. Wow. Oh, this is my card for getting negative karma, having to go through it. You got to look at past experience. Like, why am I here? Oh, because I had did that one thing. Oh, them two, th that hundredth thing from the past. Mm. So we got somebody here, your person going through negative karma. They really have to look at their life. They really have to look at how they've been moving, you know? All right. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. And if you are viewing from one of those uh, cities, towns, states, go ahead and comment down below, excuse me, in the comment section. If you want to be a business owner, if you are a business owner, if you just want to be around business minded individuals so you can soak up some, some of that goodness, then why don't you Firstly, book a discovery call with me so we can see where you are. And then um, you can uh, get uh, involved in the monthly conference call, the KTMG, Keep the Momentum Going conference call happening monthly with other like-minded business individuals where we kind of pick each other's brain. I also come to the platform with valuable information of how to start your own business or maintain your business or grow your business, okay? So... Uh, take advantage of that. Not only do we use practical methods, but we also use, we couple it with spiritual methods. So you're going to get the best of both worlds. Um, take advantage. This is the time. Okay, Aquarius. Um, all links are below. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.